<laughs> the Darwood experience. For this particular one, YouTube might get a little bit scared, so if it does happen to get taken down, head on over to Rumble, put the link below, and that's where we go to have free speech and whatnot and have an honest conversation. Just sticking with the guidelines. Let's get down to it. Hey, welcome everybody. There's been a huge epidemic going on between our young servicemen. And that's something we need to really tackle and just talk about and to address. And that's why I have the title today is Don't Try Suicide. Yes, jump right on into it. And one of the biggest things here is what can we do to help? And we're not going to solve this issue in one amazing podcast. That's for sure. As part of the ongoing segment to be the high value man, this is here to help and to give someone maybe just a glimmer of what they can do, like I said before. We're not gonna solve the issue overnight, but one of the biggest things is to give resources, encouragement, and empowerment to those who are not feeling all the uppity up, don't know what to say or how to take care of it. So by just starting off, the biggest thing is, how are you? That is a very powerful question to ask. Has one ever come across this before? Where you ask, care, escort, what does it mean? How could you use it? I'll tell you one thing. It is a powerful three-step process for what we have going on in this academic. Literally is the basic building block to building interpersonal communication. And this is one thing I really do stress quite a bit when it comes to all this, is the communication of openness and say, look, I'm gonna ask you, how are you doing? How are your mama and doing? That is one thing that I will stress for anybody who's nervous about coming into this, is the first thing you ask and then prepare for the answer. And that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna be strong. We're gonna prepare for the answer. This will break it down to be much easier and it'll be less intimidating. Let's check it out. This is where you ask your buddy how they're doing. It's like, hey man, all going well? What you doing? Ask the question directly. And they say to yourself, well, what if I ask? And if I ask, that's gonna put the thought in their head. Put the thought in their head, it's gonna be my fault by saying things like, are you going to think about killing yourself? And look, the answer is no. And that's the complete truth. The myth is if you ask them, they're gonna think, oh my gosh, you reminded me. Oh my goodness, that is right. Yesterday was Tuesday. Now, Thursday, I can sleep forever. That's absolutely not true. Look, you're not putting the thought in their head. Just like guys who have girls that are friends. Listen, ladies. A guy has thought about a million times how he's going to go through with what he really wants. Into my point. Into my point. Asking someone's not going to remind them. Look, they probably thought about it at least a hundred times going through how they're going to. So, by asking the question, things sound good in the mind, but when you say it out loud, it doesn't sound so good. And that's the whole point of asking the question directly and to the point that means wow, this person actually cares enough to ask that direct question. And that is some ballsy stuff right there. Now that we got the question and the answer, now we care for our buddy, your homie. And look, calmly control the situation. I mean, don't get hysterical. Don't use force and be safe. I mean, honestly, you want to grapple this problem, but you don't want to grapple the person because you don't see a need for that. But actively listen. Here we are, we're showing understanding, and it's going to be a nice thing when someone's actually gonna listen to us. That's awesome because that is caring. We talk about removing objects for self-injury. Tread lightly on it, but the biggest thing really is just let's talk to the person. Let's care about our homie right now. We don't want this to be any more than it needs to be. Bottom line is being authentic and care. The subject sucks, but we are there for the person. Sometimes just being an open ear is what that person needs in this caring stage. In the escort stage, we have our thing called our barriers. Some people have personal barriers, emotional barriers, for our, they don't feel comfortable actually saying, look, I need to assist this person. What do I do? How can I help? Because I'm not so sure I could talk to them. There's plenty of routes you can do this. 
you can phone a friend, phone a supervisor, your first sergeant in the chain of command. And if it gets worse and worse, there's always the security forces that can help you in these times. Escorting your buddy to the most reasonable place, I mean, look, if you can't get to them when you need to be, you can always take them to the emergency room, and that is A-OK. -okay. That'll help them out and give them the help that they need. See, the thing about escorting is that you're there for them. And that's the whole important thing about this whole entire aspect is just being there for your buddy and your homie. Yeah, this ACE method is tried and true. Awesome. Every time it works, it's really right. Totally real though. Never leave your buddy behind. Never do that. Don't leave them alone, especially in these dark crises. They're very, very sensitive times. That's where you gotta be there. Listen for everything. Be that open ear. And that's what we're gonna do is you're gonna escort them to get them the help they need. And there's so many realms you can use. But in the most in-depth things is just be there for the person when you get ready to escort them. And that's where we can, you know what? Let's take them to the gym. Let's take them. With the ACE method conquered, next we go into is called the Board of Directors. Now, this is one thing here that builds us as to who we are and what we are. You're gonna have people you like, you dislike, despise and whatnot in each person you are going to learn from and this is what is going to make us who we are it's exciting with your board of directors you may have someone on there you don't like or maybe someone you do like someone you can actually say you know what i want to be like this person i want to be like this boss or that boss or i will not be anything like that boss or anything like that or matter or it could be a movie a situation help you can have all kinds of examples that shape you as to who you are. And this all correlates with all kinds of the methods that we have. Our methods to the madness to all of this, it all correlates together and corresponds. As we come together, you utilize every single bit of interpersonal communicational skill. And that is the thing. We're not going to solve this overnight. The culture has to change. Generational changes happen all the time too. And that is something we have to acknowledge. And that's first and foremost. Secondly, let's go out and have fun. Let's be a bunch of badasses. Let's go to the gym. Let's kick out. Let's do this stuff. One of the things to leave you with this whole entire presentation was just to get something out, talk, have a little conversation. Because, you know, it's a big issue that goes on with our service members. And that's one thing. We are not going to find a solution right now, tonight. But to change the discussion one thing after another. Instead of having a tragedy, let's have a triumph. Remember, we have a lot of post-traumatic stress that goes on in our lives. Let's focus on post-traumatic growth, and that is paramount.